but this time it open no way. You can see the functions, all the functions are list here, and it works well. So this is also we can we can use this 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 tool to see the packer information again. You can see that it's not packed now. And also we can find which language it's used to read this uh, The next step, next tool I want to introduce is IA Pro. I will quickly go through some basic functions. Okay, this is the crack me. We can see that there are some familiar strings. Please include the right number and also Congratulations on and culture belt. And also we can use we can use IDA Pro to generate pseudo code, which is very very friendly to read to analysis. So we can see that here what what this crack me do is first this is a cipher and zoom it the cyber and first it allows to do while loops here. The first one is here and the second one is here. And our input is our input is the password. We can say that the first do loop didn't use the password at all. And the second one used the password. So the first one is just do some uh, transformation or rearrangement of the cipher. And sec second one is which actually uh, used to encrypt the message. And finally, what what we uh, what we encoded into this program is compiled to this cipher text. If it's match you know output conversations. I will not go further into the ana analysis of this problem. Uh, this puzzle. I'll just show you the basic usage of I get. Okay. Uh, and another and the following tools are for different languages. For example, the JD, JD GUI is for Java uh, is an Java decompiler and the Android APK decompiler JAEX uh, I'll show you a quick demo here. This APK is uh, a portal from ZECTF. I will open it. We can see we can see that all the classes and packages are listed here. As you can see, the name ZECTF and the main activity, home activity, and we can see uh, what this APK do is. If you run it, it, uh, it asks you for the username and password to log in. So we can find something related to username, password, and the code is very, very friendly and very tiny, very tidy. And we can find the address of the server. Use this knowledge, you, you can then find this. This is about secure injection. I would like to talk about. Injection here. I just use the tool. And the final final one is you know, I am spy for the net to come out. Okay, now let's come to exploit. Uh, for exploit, I will only introduce two tools. The first one is Pella. It's a Python exploit development development assistant for GDB. The lab this this one is original GDB and the left one is uh, Pella. You can see that GDB is quite boring and don't have any color. 
and you can see in Canada, uh, the I'm not sure if you can see it clearly. Uh, in Canada, the, some information like the register values and stack values are all listed, and it's very convenient if you're going to analysis the exploit models. And this tool is Pwn Tools. It just, uh, it's a Python library for writing uh, those exploits. Because in CTF, the, the, uh, the exploit problems are all up, uh, a many, uh, for, for most cases, they've just given you an IP address and a port. And if you connect you to that port, it will receive an input from you. And you can use the input to overflow it. So this is an interactive uh, development environment. And also, it has many convenient functions like shell code generating and ROT return oriented programming. And it even has flat management. Now let's go to forensic. The first tool I'll talk about uh, have been mentioned many times is called Framework. I'll just do a demo to let you know what I'm going to do. Here we have a picture of Framework.js app. This picture. This picture itself is a puzzle. So we use Bingwork to analyze it. We can see uh, there are two headers. The first one is no JPEG header, but in the middle of the file, there's another JPEG header. So what we need to do is to extract the second JPEG image. We use DD. use this comment. The IFPC input file is the original JPEG file and the out, uh, output is what we want to write to. And it's deep. 140147 one, uh, bits. We try on it and open the output. Okay. We can see this is the second JPEG. And we can find that here. Actually, this, this kind of puzzle are quite boring because they appear too many times. And the second one is the uh, exit tool. You know that, like uh, image files, there are some info uh, meta information like. When do you when do you uh, photograph and where well, where do you take that photo and who's the author of that photo? Maybe sometimes the CTF uh, in the CTF the flag will be hidden in those metadata and we look at the official side of this tool we can see a very interesting this tool supports very very long list of fiber files like PDF which may also appear in CDF and WAV the digital audio and what was mentioned is this tool is written by some guy from the Felix department And next tool is also very common in CDF is stack solve. First, what is image image stepanography? Uh, it's just hidden some for example if you want to hidden a secret uh, sentence in an image, uh, how can you make it so that 
by just by looking at the image itself, you cannot see the difference. But you can using some algorithm to extract the encrypted uh, the hidden message from the image. Uh, here I will introduce a very famous famous algorithm for stenography. It's called LSP least uh, least least significant bit. Uh, we know that we all know that uh, an image is is just some pixel, many pixels, and each pixel has three color channel, and for each color channel, it's an eight-bit value, like this one. And yeah, if we if we just change one of the color channel by one bit, we cannot find any difference between these two colors. So this is where the idea comes from. If we want to hide a message here, uh, for example this byte, 1111010, for each bit in this byte, we just save, that, save it in the least significant bit in the image uh, color in, in a pixel of the image and for example this one here is stored in this uh, image pixel here and because it's sto uh, stored in the least significant bit the value will be altered uh, very little and we cannot see the difference appear on the image so how to extract this information. Let me show you another demo. This is the tool. The tool. This is an image uh, from a CTF competition. And first, there's no valuable information on this image. You can see there's some, like some text here, but it's not clear. We try to try to extract some valuable data from this image. Here, zero zero bit. This set, zero to seven is just those eight bits, and zero here is the least significant bit. For example, we just extract those bits in the red channel uh, of the least significant bit and we click review okay we see that the extracted bits are actually repeated strings which says congratulations you you win the family so this is this kind of problem and also this tool have another other functions like frame brother, which for uh, GIF, uh, GIF files, and like this color, different color, uh, red, uh, red space, and green. Sometimes you are high information in a single color channel. In this way. What's next? We finally came to the uh, web part. Uh, for myself, my favorite part is web because it's easy enough and the first uh, for web part I think the most two important tools is per student single map by using these tools you can definitely solve uh, quite a large number of problems the per suit is an proxy and also it in includes function of 
uh, like like father and scanner, and CQMAP is just for secure injection. Uh, what was mentioned is that CQMAP has some advanced usage, like WAF is some uh, some, some, some firewall, uh, firewall bypass, uh, and also uh, sec uh, secure shell, which uh, give uh, give your shell and let you to input the secure comment you want to execute, and also you can indicate the injection point by using a special symbol. Let's give you. Let me give you a demo first. First, I will set up the proxy. We use Verbsuit. This is Verbsuit. This is proxy. We first turn on the intercept intercept function to intercept the HTTP requests. And also, we can see the port conf configuration here. And input input in a set, uh, and set it. Set up the browser so all the traffic will go through the first Let's try just uh, first. Just try try and random registration. <coughs> 